In Paris, people are still gathering outside that concert hall where some 90 people were killed in the attacks. This photo of that American rock band on stage just before the terror began. Tonight, for the first time, they're speaking out about what they saw in the harrowing moments that followed. ABC's Lama Hassan reporting in from Paris tonight. Breaking their silence for the first time, the American rock band The Eagles of Death Metal describes the horror unfolding while performing that night. Several people hid in our dressing room and the killers were able to get in and killed every one of them except for a kid who was hiding under my leather jacket. About 30 minutes into their set, this was the bone chilling moment the band knew something was wrong. You can hear the gunfire ringing out, the attackers storming in, the drummer crouching down. In the upcoming exclusive interview with Vice News, lead singer Jesse Hughes describes the courage their fans showed. So many were killed because so many people wouldn't leave their friends. The band managed to escape on foot, but among the dead was their merchandise manager, Nick Alexander. His girlfriend, Polina Buckley, remembering him at a vigil. He's the best man that ever lived. Well, tonight, outside the Bataclan Concert Hall, the scene of that horrific massacre, you can still see people coming here to pay their respects nine days after those attacks. Tom? Lama Hassan from Paris for us tonight. Lama, thank you.